Hello and welcome to the City of Mesquite Gus Thomason Preliminary Design Public Meeting Presentation. My name is Tim James and I'm the Director of Public Works for the City of Mesquite. The project we are going to be discussing is the Gus Thomason Project from Highway 80 to Town East Boulevard. The reason that we are doing this project is to address the aging pavement condition along this section of roadway. This project is also included in the Town Center Tax Increment Financing District and currently we are working on a preliminary design for this section of roadway. This project has not been designed fully and is not ready for construction. That is the reason we are having this public meeting is to gather citizen input. The current status of our preliminary design has included the evaluation of the existing conditions, a traffic study, the investigation of intersection operations, the evaluation of access points, the evaluation of the number of lanes necessary to carry the traffic, the evaluation of the safety concerns through this corridor specific to speeding and citizen input, and the public input that we have received through time for this corridor such as noise complaints and the safety concerns of speeding. It's important to note as we look at this corridor the existing conditions that exist for the traffic that travels through this section of roadway. On the southern section from Highway 80 up to Motley Drive, the roadway consists of two travel lanes that come across the Highway 80 bridge and travel north past Motley. Going south, there are two through lanes that travel from Motley across the Highway 80 bridge and one lane that leads from Motley down to the access road on Highway 80. The section of roadway widens at the point that you can see on this graphic just north of Motley Drive where it widens from a two lane section going north to three lanes going north. As we look on the north end of this corridor, the Gus Thomason Roadway as it comes through Town East Boulevard has two lanes going south. These two lanes carry the traffic south entering the Gus Thomason Corridor. It's very important to look at the existing conditions on this section of roadway. On both ends of the project, on the north end as well as the south end, there are only two lanes of traffic that travel into this corridor, while through the middle of this project there are three lanes that carry traffic. One of the key features in the preliminary design is the traffic study. We first looked at the historical traffic conditions through this corridor, then we looked at their current traffic conditions, and finally, we looked at the future projections out 20 years, which includes the fully developed land throughout this corridor. The future projections include what we view as the maximum traffic that should travel through this corridor. And lastly, we looked at the intersection operations where we looked at the peak hour traffic movements as well as the turning movements at each of the intersections. When we studied this corridor, it broke out into four distinct sections. On the south end, from Highway 80 up to Motley Drive, the future projections anticipate 28,000 vehicles per day. On the section of roadway between Motley and Town Center, we anticipate 23,000 vehicles per day. On the section of Gus Thomason between Town Center and North Mesquite, we anticipate 15,000 vehicles per day. And finally, on the north end of the project, from North Mesquite to Town East Boulevard, we anticipate 21,000 vehicles per day. The intent of our preliminary design is to design a roadway that will accommodate both the current and future traffic that will travel throughout Gus Thomason, to improve the operations of these intersections, to increase the safety for all of our residents, and lastly, to build a project that will be beneficial to the residents that are adjacent to this roadway in this corridor. The proposed alignment in our preliminary design has two distinct sections. On the south end of the project, the south section from Highway 80 up to Motley, we plan on building this roadway in the same configuration as it is today. On the north section, from Motley to Town East, we propose to construct a four-lane divided roadway with a 12-foot trail on the west side. We also propose to increase the buffer between the existing residential properties and the roadway and to make intersection improvements. To graphically show you the two sections, the south section is from Highway 80 to Motley Drive and the north section will be from Motley Drive up to Town East Boulevard. The considerations that we were taking to the public for discussion and to gather input include discussions regarding the access points along this corridor. Currently there are several streets that are closed off and do not have direct access to Gus Thomason. 
The preliminary design that we are currently proposing has these streets closed as they are today. However, there is the option to open these streets if the residents immediately adjacent to this project desire for these streets to be opened in the future. The second consideration is in relation to the residential buffers along this roadway. With the increased buffer width, we have the ability to add a screening wall, or we could add enhanced fencing and landscaping through the corridor, and we could also add some neighborhood identification features. The access points, as shown on this graphic, there are several streets that are closed and cannot directly access Gus Thomason. This is an example of two locations where these streets are currently closed. If it is the desire of residents immediately adjacent to this project to open these, that is an option that could be considered when we move into final design. As we look at the screening wall option, an eight-foot masonry screening wall could be constructed along the property line of each of the residential properties that abut this corridor. The wall could be constructed on the property line as shown. However, it would still have openings at the alleyways for access and at the street locations for pedestrian access to the trail. With the number of openings in this wall, it would be for aesthetic purposes only and would not provide any sound attenuation. With the screening wall option, this is a cross-section of the proposed roadway. The screening wall could be built on the right-of-way line next to the residential properties through the corridor. The highlighted section shows the location of the screening wall as it sits to the roadway and to the residential homes. It's important to note that the existing roadway will be moved farther away from the residential homes in the proposed alignment. This red line shows the location of the existing curb in relation to the residential homes. The proposed alignment includes the curb line to be farther away from the residential homes by approximately 14 feet. This slide demonstrates a proposed screening wall that could be built with this project. This is a sample of an existing screening wall that was recently constructed in the city of Mesquite. With the landscaped option, there could be an enhanced fencing and landscape feature that could be constructed along the residential properties through the corridor. The highlighted sections show the location where the enhanced landscaping and fencing could be constructed. Again, this is a cross-section of the proposed roadway showing the location of the proposed enhancements that would include landscaping and an enhanced fence. Once again, it's important to note that the buffer from the residential properties to the roadway will be increased under the proposed alignment. These lines show the distance that the new roadway will be moved away from the residential properties by approximately 14 feet. Under the landscape option, the enhanced fence could be a wrought iron fence with stone columns as shown in this picture. This view would be similar to what the residents would see where there would be a wrought iron fence with landscaping on the other side between the fence and the roadway. Another possibility is to include some neighborhood identity features with this project. One proposal could include the construction of removable bollards and stone monuments at the end of the closed roadways as aesthetic improvements. A closer view of a stone monument that could be included with this project is shown here in this picture. One option is to include specific information on each of the astronauts for which the streets are named. Once again, the considerations that we're looking for for public input in this step of the preliminary design include the access points through the corridor, whether or not this project needs to include the existing access points or open the currently closed residential streets that abut this section of road. We're also seeking input on options within the residential buffer, such as a screening wall or enhanced fencing and landscaping, or we could also include some neighborhood identification. The next step through this project include obtaining the survey results that were mailed to each of the residents adjacent to this project, presenting those results to City Council for direction on proceeding with the final design of this project. Once the direction is obtained from Council, we could begin the design of this project in the fall of 2016 and would anticipate this going to construction by the fall of 2017.